Welcome back, everyone, to another live stream. This would normally be the time slot for the members only live stream, but that's not scheduled for today. Normally, I wouldn't stream based on the new schedule, the current schedule. I would not normally stream today. However, um, Oblivion and I have had a tough time coordinating getting in his one on one convoy, and we were finally able to put it together for today. So here we are. Also, I didn't live stream yesterday. I had other things going on. So let me recognize everyone who's here already, early and on time. Pause Tech TV. Rob Strecker, aka Lurch, is here in the Discord. He'll be reading your chat today. Hey, everybody. Rick Rashid is here. I'm going to Swifty his tractor for cursing me, um, jinxing me. Lobo 1G is here. Lobo 1G and I will be having a convoy later today, as a matter of fact, so be sure to come back for that. Uh, it's the Nicholas Triple X Ent is here. Phantom 6767 is also here. Oblivion is in, in the chat and in the convoy with me. You want to say hello? hello? hello All right. Everyone. Excellent. Um, let's see, Florida Hoosier, formerly Indiana Hoosier, is in the audience today. Welcome. Let's see, Rick Rashid thinks he got to start driving a bus again. Okay. Let's not ha be having any PC crashes, because that could end the stream. We don't want that. Uh, do 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 Yeah, hopefully zero. Um. Bugwatch is here. I'm over here hovering over saying and not even seeing his name. Bugwatch is here. Welcome, Pugwash. Uh, let's see. Nightbot is here, so watch your P's and Q's. Turn off that caps lock. And don't spit out too many emojis or Nightbot will get you. Carlin is back. Welcome. Hey, JC Drives. Glad you made it. Colin Percival is here. That's Oblivion's employee number. Well, it's right there on his truck. Maybe you can't see it. Yeah, okay. You'll see it in a minute. Hopefully. Um, Drive is here. Thank you, Drive. Okay, I'm going to hop back into my truck. And let's show off Oblivion's truck. That's good. I'm gonna have to go into photo mode to see this a little better. Let me move that sunlight a little bit. There we go. You can see that the color changes as we as the light position change or at least our viewpoint changes. So um Oblivion wanted actually you want to explain um the story behind that graphic image on the side of your truck? It's not much to say about that, but it's it's a uh, my country flag in the background. And one of the famous warriors in the old ages on the top of that. So that's it. It's simple. My first skin is very simple. What it is is an outline of the country. Um, Lithuania, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I was afraid I was going to get that wrong. Uh, Oblivion lives in Lithuania. And Every, so... I'm sorry? Everything every, Everything on this track is associated with Lithuania. Right. So all of us, everything. So the the graphic image is an outline of the a map outline of the country of Lithuania. The uh, warrior on the side is an historical figure, I believe, yeah, in yeah. Lithuanian history. And then the colors, yellow, green, and red, are the colors from the Lithuanian flag. And then we also. 
I put his name on the side using those same colors. Um, I don't know what that that is the effect, but anyway, so it's yellow, green, and red. And we did the same thing with his truck number. So there's the answer to the question, what's his driver number? 039. And I believe it and I worked on this together and then turned it over. And I think it was Nicholas that did this one or put it together. Yeah. I don't recall. Big thanks to him. Awesome. And he do, do that uh, log on the back in the back right. of the cabin. So, so Nicholas added this extra stuff, this this low, this image, the coat of arms is what it looks like. Yeah, and this logo have two words. Uh, we have that words in our hymn in my country. And what do they mean? Stay together, like, okay. like a big okay. group, a big family. All right, it's kind of like uh, United We Stand in America. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, uh, made in Lithuania. So, Oblivion, I'm, I assume, was made in Lithuania. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I am born in Lithuania, so... It, it's kind of the same Lithuania. thing, except made in means, you know, <laughs> yeah, your, par yeah, par know. your parents got busy and then later you were born. <laughs> <laughs> okay nicholas says yes it was the lithuanian coat of arms all right well that's pretty cool we got a unicorn on the right side and looks like a griffin on the left yeah, griffin. so whoops i didn't mean to take a picture but what the heck and then you've got the lithuanian flag um above the doors or mounted to the doors on either side of your truck some accessories <laughs> and then yes yeah, accessories on your Volvo FH750, I think it is. Yep, 750. All right. Looks like that guy wants to uh, get past you. So go ahead and back up and hook back up to your trailer, and we will get going. Um, next, I will tell everybody where we are. We are just outside of Paris, France, of course. We actually picked up these loads, these Volvo thing articulated haulers we pick them up in paris and we are taking them a thousand kilometers to genoa italy so we've got a, we actually had to drive a little bit to get to this rest area or travel plaza so we could get well i needed to top off with fuel and we both had to get coffees and we have a 935 kilometers remaining Let's see. Adam Buser is here. Uh, Oblivion, Nicholas says you should have the option to have Oblivion, your name, over the windscreen too. Yeah, I miss it, dude. Somehow, I don't know. Maybe well, it's an yeah. option to change the color of the sign on the top. Well, you'll have to check it out later when you get a chance. Yeah. Anyway, it's another good job by Nicholas. And we should get rolling. Get on down the road. I'm going to grab another coffee quick. Well, whenever you're ready to roll out, go ahead and take lead. We can. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This uh, articulated hauler that we're pulling, or yeah, that we're pulling is 25 tons. So we're gonna get some. Uh, hopefully, get if we don't have any incidents, we'll get some good hardcore points. We are falling behind in hardcore points in Euro trucks, so it'd be nice if we could bring that back up. 
Merlin had said, it's a Volvo good looking truck. The side mirrors make the truck look like it has ears. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Some shout outs. Start with the flat betters as usual. Nehi Sniper, our top ATS driver for August. Ooh, this guy's slowing down in front of me. He's brake checking me. There we go. Uh, Dusty, aka Dirty Dog3436, our top ATS driver for last January. Woo! Isabella Hagloff, Pilot Bro39, who I hope is lurking. Rob Strecker, aka Lurch, who is here in the Discord. And Bill Welburn. Bedrock, our top ATS driver for February of last year. Hopefully he will be joining us. Oops, I am in the wrong lane. Eighty. Nicholas Triple XN is here with us today. Susan Arthur, our top ETS two driver for May. XLT five eighty eight gaming. Omega Sunrise, our top ATS driver for this past January. Silent Dilemma, Norwegian Trucker Nicholas. Big Al 2424. Looks like a toll booth. Yep. Adam says, I found that the Western Star 49X has a huge window that you can see reversing on the right side. Too bad it has a long wheelbase. I prefer bigger windows versus smaller ones, mostly on the passenger door or the sleeper area. So Adam, I take it you don't like the long wheelbase? A lot of people like the long wheelbase while well, real drivers do. Some real drivers do because it's a smoother ride. Johnny Hansen, Tasmified, Picard Gaming. I can get this thing to cooperate. Lobo 1G, our top ETS2 driver for July. Pugwash is here. Seems to me, Pugwash, you're top driver for something. Or is it second place? Now I'm wondering, did I miss something? Woo! Birdie the Parrot. Carland is here. And WIM55, our top ETS driver for March. All right, I'll get back to focusing on the road now. <laughs> Eats Thirsty, Matthew Walter, and Mr. Rabbit are all in the chat. Welcome, Mr. Rabbit from India. Ah, yep. Nice. Vigner is also here, says hello, everybody. Hey, Vigner. Is wondering, is Oblivion skin work of Nicholas or TK? Nicholas. Y'all are going to see a lot more work from Nicholas going forward. Adam 
Martin says, I would not mind a longer wheelbase platform, but that means I have to make a lot of steering corrections in the lot. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Road works. Matthew Walter says, are you doing the live stream on ATS tonight? Nope, that will be on Euro Truck as well. Tomorrow, Sunday Fun Day Convoy will be in ATS. answered Victor saying Oblivion and Boomer made the artwork I put it together afterwards and added a few things to which Victor said nice work thank you it was a group effort Saturday, yippee! I've fallen a little behind. I need to slow down a little bit. A little, a little. Maybe uh, seventy-five. And just so you know, I try not to go over 80, even here. <laughs> trying to trying to work on that fuel economy. Not having much luck on this run. My economy is too bad now. Well, we just got started. caught up. I'm at 80. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the folks that are working with hardcore well, some folks don't even drive above 70, but I have a tr I have trouble with that. <laughs> I think 80 is plenty slow enough. And, and I think Vigner has said more than one occasion that 80 is the... Uh, yeah, the best option. Yeah. Vigner says, if or when Iceland will be added as an official DLC, I will definitely show you what I'm capable of doing in driving over one month, Boomer. Okay. I'll hold you to that. So, Oblivion, what do you do in Lithuania? I'm a construction worker. Okay. What kind of construction work do you do? They don't know in houses. Houses? Yeah. So, you build, you build homes? Not build. But put some things on the walls. Okay, she rock and you hang she rock. What that's what we use. That's what we use in the U.S. in homes is uh, sheet rock for the walls. Uh, not really. Okay. We we finish the house after. The, the other people build the, the walls, everything. Okay. So we put the decoration, everything on the houses. 
On the exterior or, or interior or both? Exterior. Okay. Outside. So way I working with my bro brother and one friend. Okay. And how long have you been doing this? Mm, almost 10 years. Okay. So you like it? You like it? In the middle, I think. Okay. Because it's... I get... Uh, a good amount of money from that. And I don't want to change anything because... I am good on, on that work. Okay. And Lithuanian's economy is not very good, so... Or you go work on yourself, or you go to the other job and get around 800 euros in the month. So I select the, the work where I can get more money. But yeah, we have a lot of works. I was very that's, busy last month. Yeah, that's been part of the reason why we haven't been able to connect for a while. Yeah, a lot of works. We have a lot of houses to do this year. Well, that's good. Did you work today? No, it's only this weekend I don't work. Sometimes I have three days when it's raining or very cold, windy. Pickner says about the fuel economy, it was a tip from my dad, who is a former truck driver in Iceland. About 80 kilometers an hour being a good fuel point. For we speed. can go on 80, 70 here. Yeah. Pete Cersei says, uh, is there another live stream today? Yes. Nicholas asks, do you want to be a truck driver or oblivion? A <laughs> truck driver? In real life, do you have any interest? No. No. I don't have the license to do that. When you need to put a lot of work to be the truck driver in Lithuania. Adam says, I know sheetrock is easy to bend and break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about bending, but it'll definitely break. All you gotta do is score it with a, a razor knife little bit and then bow it'll it'll break right there so, oh. <laughs> it's okay it's okay I say that. Rashid says that maybe Nicholas can help hook you up yeah By the way, uh, during the next live stream, we'll announce the winners of the um, Euro Truck Truck Hunt Challenge. Slow down a little bit, shop corner. And the winners, the top three, the first three people to find all all nine trucks. Um, win a place in the winner's convoy that we'll, hold, we'll schedule at a later date. And there'll also be a drawing for Steam gift cards. Ooh.
So we go on 90 or 80? We saving fuel or not? I prefer to save fuel, but we can go 90. Reality is, it, this is your convoy, so as long as we don't go above the speed limit, we can go however fast you want to go. We can save the fuel, but lost the time. Are you in a hurry? <laughs> no, 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 I have time. Maybe we can go on 80. Arlen says, being a truck driver in Europe is no joke. I've been watching training videos on YouTube. Is it different? I guess small, I should say, how is it different? Small roads, everything. Well, yeah. The pain is too small. Yeah, better to drive in somewhere to Italy or, or other countries. Because Lefini is too small for Ooh. trucks, I think. I think we need to get over. <sighs> yeah, Nicholas. a lot of drivers. Nicholas says, yeah, come on over. You can borrow my license for a few weeks. Mega Sunrise says Oblivion is always in a hurry. <laughs> no, no, no. Wim says, hey Boomer, Oblivion in chat, I just made an entire... Oh, stop, 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 stop. stop. They crashed it, that's sunk. Yeah. Car accident. Continuing on with Wim's coming. Busy, busy, busy with helping both kids who have bought recently their own house. So I'll be not be engaged uh, with a lot of driving this month and possibly also next month. Okay. Well, that's exciting for them. New home. This reminds me of flight training. Since I never did the job, it may be easier than it looks. I so, think the Fini need to pay almost two thousand euros for the drive. Uh, license for the truck and spend half half year in the company in the first company and they don't pay you much so it's very hard to do that opinion well how did you get interested in driving trucking sims I don't know. Long time ago, I just watched one guy in YouTube. He's playing this game, and I even don't know about the, the online server, so you can play with other somewhere. So I just bought buy a game and try it, and I like it. Then couple years later one friend says says to me that info there is a server online with other people's so uh, I jumped back really, really quick and then I started playing and I like it a lot it's a chilly game you can just drink coffee looking around enjoy the scenery I don't know just oh, I white. agree with all of that. It, it, it's a beautiful game. I enjoy the scenery in both. Yeah, you don't need to think fast about something. It's like I said, it's 
old man's game. You don't need to hurt it somewhere. Oops. I almost missed it that too. <laughs> yeah, me too. Let me go back to date. The guys in the chat, how is your weekend going? Nicholas asks, what do you think about Lithuania and game? Is it true to life? Can you repeat the question? What do you think about Lithuania and game? Is it true to real life? <laughs> in the game, it's it's just smaller. <laughs> in real life, it's small, but in the game, it's very, very small. And in Lithuania, in the game, you miss it a lot of nature, because we have a lot of that. The forests, the everything. So. It's a flat surroundings here, but, but a lot of nature. We have some lakes, everything, so I don't see that in that DLC. The, the, the colonists in Lithuania is very small. <laughs> yeah, they copied some some houses, some roads, exactly the same. But it's very short roads. And I need to find the rest area. Okay. Oh, what is near? Arlen said, old man, is that 50 plus? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Casey I am feeling pretty, pretty old, but I'm only 32. Casey started hardcore mode and got his first 4.6. I saw that. Glad to see that you're, uh, you're back into doing hardcore i don't know if you were doing it in or at least doing it i don't remember if you were doing it before but yeah i saw that oh well done 4.6 is pretty good just starting out you've been busy with work Nicholas says, I felt the same way about Norway. Way too small, lots of beautiful roads, and nature are missing in the game. I like a lot Norway. Yeah. I think it's uh, the second map you'll see what I buy it. Because you have a lot of roads, a lot of mileage. While well, we're and stopped. It's beautiful. I want to do some shout outs. Cody Old, JJ Man, 1982, Thor Rasmussen, our top ETS2 driver for April. Ipswich, David H74, Matthew Roth, RD04Dave, our top ATS driver for March. Troken, Country Bumpkin Simulation, Justin Burns, Douglas Williams, JC Drives, our top ETS2 driver for. March, last month. Bruce A, Thomas Berger, Tazzy291, Lee Jenkins. We'll stop her there. Looks like Rashid's leaving to go have lunch. Okay. Let's go. Let's go.
Don't you hit me. <laughs> Look at the mountains. Must be the Alps. Oh, yeah. Let it be. I don't even see the top of that mountain. Yeah. Vigner says to uh, Nicholas that Norway will be bigger after about two years along with Sweden and Finland. I'm looking forward to that expansion. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Hi. What was that? Johnny, did you just what sign back up or something? Huh? That was 15. No, um... Johnny Hansen just sponsored the channel, so I was wondering how that happened, because I already had him there, unless he had to renew today. Welcome back, Johnny. Member for 14 months. Man. Congratulations and thanks for sticking with us so long. Omega says I was having issues with my air brake simulation by using a controller and I've learned to drive differently. Engine brake helps a lot. missed you yesterday I was thinking you were gonna show up we had a good time he was tired yeah that only gets worse as you get older May or may not be having a nap after this. Power nap. Uh, lucky I was off today. I thought you were off on weekends. says more tired and time goes by faster too so no long naps Nicholas says you need to farm boomer not nap I'm actually a little burnt out on farming I did a lot of farming this week Mega says no FedEx ground run today only tomorrow Who are you and what have you done with Boomer? 
Hey, even farmers need a break every once in a while. Pugwar said, I enjoyed the farm, picked up a new skill, rearranging furniture. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I had recorded that. Oh. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh. Yeah, if you want to know what he's talking about, you can ask him in the Discord. Or you can explain it here in the chat, whatever. Matthew Walter said, did you do a live stream yesterday? No. Oh. Was he asking about in, in general or farming? Uh, doesn't specify. It just said, did you do a yesterday live stream? Oh. Nope, I took yesterday off. I had some work stuff to do. Plus, I am doing this stream today when I normally would be taking this time off from streaming. Seventeen. Omega says farmers break equals corona at the beach. You don't have to be a farmer to want a corona at the beach. Elliot Hallisey says hi everyone in the chat. Hope you're you're enjoying your weekend. Hey Elliot. Adam is wondering when a truck's fuel light comes on about how many gallons are left in the tank and how far can I go until it's empty. My truck has a 300 gallon tank. If your light has come on, you've waited too long to get fuel. So, uh, I don't know. I know that I pushed it too close once. Scared the heck out of me. Whoa! 60. I've been in an accident. Actually... What's going on? Yeah, what is going on? I didn't see anything. I, I ran up on the... Uh, whatever that is. Oh. What just happened to my... Guard um rail. Well, there then we that's go. a Swifty. <laughs> right. Now I'm having trouble with my Swifty counter. There we go. And that. <laughs> Ouch. Theodore Radbit says ATS or ETS. Uh, wait. What was the context? I'm rolling. There is no context. It just says ATS or ETS. Thank you, Dragon, and congratulations to Untamed Eagle. He's asking uh, about what you're playing right now. Well, it's ETS. Oh, he says, what do you prefer, ATS or ETS? I like them both a lot. I like ATS because it reminds me of driving truck in real life. And I love the scenery in the U.S. And I've come to really like Euro Truck Simulator because it's a different style and I like it. And I love the scenery over here. Like right now we're driving, we just drove through the Alps literally through the Alps. But the scenery here is pretty awesome. I mean, look at that. Castle. Yeah, castle. What the 
mountain, little mountain. You know, I love history and, you know, I always have to wonder, you know, what was it like to live back in the time when they built that? And I, you know, I have to believe that the reason why they built that is they needed fortification against enemies, which is kind of scary if you're living that in that time frame. But I think so. still, Pretty impressive. Adam said you must die. Any damage or did you just get lucky? I got damage. Let's see what I got here. Um oh yeah, oh bad. Twenty five percent to the trailer, four percent to the cargo. Next stall, 60 and 30. Well, there goes my and hardcore 60. points. Yeah, I got too close to the guardrail and ran up on it. Omega says. Theodore, he really loves Norway, but pro mods including Iceland, he loves too. I really do. I really do like Norway. It's awesome. Adam says, next stop, the shop. Yeah, I do need to stop at a shop. I mean, I didn't really damage. Well, hold on. I can't fix the trailer. It's not mine. No, I, mean, I no, do have damage. Yeah. I did damage my truck, but not as much. You can fix the world of trucks. I got rain. For me, it's stop. Now, sunny. said your swifty reminded reminds me why i had to cancel my load in ets it was identical to yours it'll hurt your score a lot yep well i'll take it i did it so I gotta deliver it, damage and all. Still fresh like a new? <laughs> yeah, it'll look like that. In real life, it would have scuffs all over it on the right side. Said, I think you could fix the trailer and you don't even have to pay for it. No, nope, you can't fix it. You can't do anything to a company owned trailer. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Omega says hardcore is hardcore when running streams. It's, it's very much like real life. Nicholas says you should be able to fix it because when you do quick jobs with company trucks, you can fix them. Really? Well, we can test it if we come across a shop on the, our way there. Um, I 
I mean, I may be wrong, I suppose. It's been known to happen. More often than I care to admit, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't see a shop between here and there. Unless there's Victor one in says, town. Victor says, you can't fix it. I've tried. And then Nicholas is like, yeah, I might be wrong, too. <laughs> Let's fight about it. Yeah, even if you own the trailer, you can't you can't fix the load. If you if you damage the cargo, you're just out of luck. I think you can only fix your own trailer, but it, uh, uh, then you need I, to be empty. You can have uh, cargo on it and fix it. Yeah. But you can't fix the cargo. Hi, right, cargo? No, no, no. Adam says, in most trucks, does it say how far you can go on low fuel and how many gallons left? I no. Th I'm thinking of 30, but I could be wrong. No, if you've got that warning light, you've messed up. That is your dipstick alert, to put it nicely. Hey, dipstick, you've gotten too close to running out of fuel. Do something about it now. Also known as an idiot alert. says, yeah, the cargo can't be fixed, but the trailer might be able to, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I don't believe so. Omega says, who built this freeway? Lap one? Yeah, I thought they only had these in Norway. Formula Nic one truck. <laughs> Nicholas says, I often get the light. Well, dipstick. <laughs> You're not supposed to. Not in your car, not in your truck. Adam says, just like a car, it should give you a number on the dash. My car doesn't do that. It just has a light. If the light comes on, you're too close to running out of fuel. You should have got fuel already. I mean, cars today will estimate how much driving time you have left, but you can't trust it. It's just basing it on how much fuel it thinks you have and what your average miles per gallon are. Don't trust it. Harlan says, it's like the low oil light in a car. Idiot light. Yeah. Exactly. Victor says, I ran out of fuel sometime most recently in Wyoming. Can't remember where. It was on I-80. It doesn't matter where, it only matters that you did. 
That's the equivalent of a Swifty. If you've got Rocky Adam, you can configure it to show you about how many gallons you've got. Or liters. Yeah. Like, Trucky it's tells me I have 651 liters right now. But it still won't... Well, it it all, could also give you an estimate of how, how far you can go on the fuel you've got. Right, I could actually look in here and it would give me an estimate. But the reality is, you should never have to rely on that. You should always make sure you have plenty of fuel. There's literally no excuse for running out of fuel. That's why I said it's like a Swifty. Nicholas says, agree to disagree. As long as you know your truck, it's no problem. That's only good for when you have a wide open ability to get to your next fuel stop. Imagine it's winter time. You're, you got your warning light on and suddenly the, the road is shut down ahead of you for an accident. Now you run the risk of either you have to shut off your engine to conserve fuel and risk freezing, or you have to risk running out of fuel and freezing. Although you probably wouldn't freeze, but point is you never want to get that low because it could lead to very bad stuff. Oh, look, there's a shop. Omega well, says, time change, uno, dos, tres. Yeah, let's do it. Woo. I wasn't expecting a real flash. I'm going to go to that shop. If you want to continue on, I'm going to test the theory. I'll be right behind you shortly. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. Yep, can't do anything with the trailer. Not even an option. Well, Nicholas, I understand what you're saying, but you run the risk of, should there be an unexpected incident, you run the risk of running out of fuel. And that's what you have to prepare for, the unexpected. 
Or should I say, expect the unexpected. I think I'm caught up on you, chat. Plus well, you were if listening. You run into some traffic jams, then uh, you're going to have a lot of stop and go, and that's going to eat up more fuel. Yep, that's kind of where I was going with that. Ah. Uh. Like we're in different spots. You can see the one from Adam. Uh, barely. It should say distance to E on all trucks. Normally the computer can give you an estimate. But that's all it is, is an estimate. You should never rely on that unless you absolutely have to. But even then, it's only going to tell you approximately how far it thinks you're going to get before you run out of fuel. <laughs> the point is, you should never let yourself get into that situation. Nicholas says you could usually go further than the estimate. Yeah. You like maybe. living dangerously, don't you? <laughs> yeah, there's that's the point right there. Oh, I don't have to shut up. Oh well. I saw Driving this and it say seventy one. I got eight seventy eight. That's weird. And we take at 1,000, yeah. Somewhere we lost 100. Lurch, are you able to check uh, what I got for hardcore? Just a moment. Okay. Um, we got time to do a short load. Maybe. Um, Four hundred kilometers or so. If you want to look for something while I do uh, shout outs. Okay. The I don't know if you want. Hold on, Lurch. Says... Well, well, hold on, okay. Lurch. What what? The short load don't give the big amount of points and hardcore simulation. No, but we still have some time if you want. We've only been on for an hour. Yeah, we can do one one okay. small round. Why don't you look for something while um, I do Lurch has something, and then I've got shout-outs. Okay. Okay. 303 hardcore points. Delivery rating is 3.8. Ouch. What about Nicholas? Or, I'm sorry, Oblivion? 4.5, 338 hardcore points. Yep, there it is. And... Uh, uh yeah drive had a great comment fuel gauge roulette everyone has played it yep i have played it and i swear i would never do it again in a truck and i did not for the rest of my driving career so yeah all right doom three Stobbs, bogdan bd jennifer roth robert alexander chris t andrew black phantom 6767 ryan John the Bricklayer, Lee Zero One Mister, Vigner Hoxson, Gordy Pitzel, CJ Johns Thirty One, Oblivion, our top ATS driver for February, which is why he's in here today. Keith Searcy, David Singh, Wolf Gaming, James Brandt, Road Trip Nerd, David C, Aztec TV, Doctor Jones, our top ETS driver. For ETS2 driver for February. Noah Long, Arnar Hoxson, Stiggy Stiggs 122, Dustin Simbro. Uh, did you find a load? Yep. Okay. 179 to, to Milan, I think. That's pretty short. Is it World of Trucks? Yes. World of Trucks. 
And we're picking up a transport team or whatever the heck that is. Um, okay, we'll take this from here. Okay. Colin Percival, Jose Lima, Karis Land, Pancake Man, Ulysses S. Grant, Greg Ulray. Oh, it's over the, right over there. I didn't even see that. Matthew Ross says, good afternoon, gentlemen. Hey, Matthew. Hello. Casey said, 3.8 versus 4.5 minus shout outs and the guardrail. <laughs> see where we're going and I will need a coffee we can stop and grab a coffee on our way out of town yeah I need to and then we are headed north to Milan yep okay I'll go ahead and take lead then since you did last time we just do a couple okay. more shout outs Jesse 2670 day and B travels Robert Wilter Randy Disher watching YouTube Manny Oy, Matthew Walter, FTG Mike B. He ran in a nice long load today on American Truck Simulator. Bata Belly, Dorhita Rusu. Need to put that down and pay attention to driving. Okay, turn left up here. It's the only choice we have. Taking the first exit at the roundabout. Adam says, do you prefer bigger windows to see when reversing? Well, we don't, unless you're driving a day cab, you don't have back windows. So it's kind of a moot point. But if I was in a day cab, yeah, I'd prefer to have big windows so I could see. Turning right into here. I do not need fuel. I just need to find a sleep trigger, which I just passed. All right, I'll go up to the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm from the new one. Mega says, nice. Truck looks good, Oblivion. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it turned out really nice. Get on. Uh, Red Car Curtis Gaming, Gordo Norteño. Wyacorn, Tyler Thompson, G-Man, Mr. Jacob Morales, Gaming Cakes, Donald William, Dougie Boy, Claudio Diaz, Florm. All right. Rolling. Adam says, bigger windows on the sleeper cabin, mostly on the side of the truck. Yeah, there's no window in the back, as I've mentioned before, in a sleeper. Um, but, you know, on the sides, I mean, you know, better. It, it's good to have better visibility. There's no doubt about that. Um, but, you know, when you're backing up, windows on the side don't help much. I mean, if you're on, like, here, yeah, stick your head out the window. And you, I know you've seen me. In American Truck Simulator, use the window in the back when I have it. 
I've done that in real life. It was awesome. Boy, this is a heavy load, 26 tons. What is this, scrap metals, wow. I guess I don't yeah, need the need, uh, beacons. We need to have the loads for that hardcore. Yeah, but the, this run is too short to qualify for hardcore. It, it must be at least 250 kilometers. Oh, yeah, I forget that. Mega Sunrise said, the pride of Lithuania. <laughs> Taking the far right. And we're exiting right onto the motorway. Wow, it's 60 up here. Uh, and we need the right lane because we're going to go through that big, whatever you call that. What, big bright? bright the, the road that goes to the right and up. Wow. Uh. So I don't know if there's a word for this. I don't know to. <laughs> like it says, lap <laughs> two. Adam says, I use the beacons when the load takes up the whole lane or just tall enough to fit under low bridges. Yeah, if, if a load in the US, if the load exceeds the width of the trailer or is high and or higher than 13 feet, six inches, then you must use beacons. And wide load signs, if it's wide or oversized loads. Continuing straight, either lane. Jeez, the speed limit is still 60 here. What the heck? <laughs> Let's go, man. I want to get there. I got to deliver. I'm not really in a hurry. I just, that's just my normal state of being. Get there, Itis. I don't like to drive slow. Come on, Mayor. Can't you see I want to be out of this truck? Vega says I wear the oversized load sash when going for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Omega. <laughs> oh my god. When I go to the buffet, right? Gosh, an oversized load. Use my beacons as well, he said. Ads. Yeah. <laughs> I have to get a beanie with a with a dome light or a beacon light on, on the beanie and turn it on when I go to the buffet. Get a little backup beeper for when I'm backing up. Adam says, I think road trains use beacons too. Uh, I don't know. 
that sounds appropriate, but we don't have those in the U.S. I think when in Europe when they convoying like five drivers in one convoy with the big big cargos, I think they all use it. He limits 80 up here. Yeah, in the U.S. convoying is I, I don't believe it's legal unless it's a special thing like military. And then when you do have a military convoy, the, both the lead truck, the lead vehicle and the tail vehicle have special placarding and beacons. But the vehicle in the lead, which is where your convoy commander, I think, will be. If Bedrock was here, he could answer this because he's, he's done this. But you'd have you'd have the beacon and then a placarding that says convoy follows. And then the tail vehicle would have the same thing, except that the message would be convoy ahead, I believe. Omega says beep, beep, beep. Yeah, says, but I've used my ref Oops, go ahead. After I fill up my plate and I have to back away from the buffet, that uh, <laughs> that's what I would do. I would totally do that too. Whoa! What what is going on? Oh my god. Where did that guy come from? Well, I quickly saw it, but oh well. Adam Holy has cow! A reflective vest and uses it when he goes out at night. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, Nicholas, what's the uh, verdict on replay? Yeah. <laughs> Omega says, "Bedrock, where's Bedrock? Miss him already." I don't think he's here today. Then he had some stuff that come up yesterday. Worried that... What? I don't know. Not sure what that means and worried about it and hope everything's okay. Ooh, wee. Man, that guy just kept hitting me. Nicholas, you get the replay on that? Uh, we gotta move over to the middle lane, it looks like. Right lane exits. and not exits. A, not another bridge. Good point, Adam. He says, I got to save White Cut in front of my truck. I cannot stop the same way you can. Yeah. Yeah, I literally did not see what was happening. I thought there was, I thought my truck was glitching out. We're exiting right up ahead. He says that driver was like the deaf, dumb, blind kid that can sure play a mean pinball. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good analogy. Yep. Nicholas and... says I can't, I can't make clips on this live stream for some reason. Huh. Could be able to. We are turning left, the light is green. For me, anyway. Looks like you made it. 
Yeah. Almost on the red. Almost got pugged, huh? Yeah, this one's green too. Oh, it's red for me. Well, I may get a red up ahead. Rashid I do. says I'll I I'll do some shout outs. Rashid says I am back and I called it two Swifties. I thought you said three, Rick. Yeah, you said three. Vernon Bunch, I'm not there yet. Big Toe Magoo, Noah Breeze. Got another red light up ahead. I guess I'm turning left here, too. I have to. I just went green. Casey says a guardrail and a pinball wizard. He's... Oh! He just hit me after he stopped for me. I should have blew my horn at him. Yeah, Nicholas, Nicholas agrees. You said three, Rick. And there you go. There's your three. <laughs> Kids, let that be a lesson to you. Never trust an AI that stops for you. Yeah. <laughs> Just different says entrapment. I saw it. Yeah. Exactly. He says, you made a, Mish a Rashid quota. Not not a thing to be proud of, either. Actually, it looks like I could have gone all the way around the building. He says, Lurch, I missed the count, by the way. Well, just for you. Three, three Swifties. Ah, ah, ah. You finish all your shout outs? Hey, there's Justin Burns. 
Cat Bravo, Big T5280, Gabe, Rock City VR, Veronica Singleton, Miles Dutton, Matrix Racing, Bard Barrow Mark, I It's James. Now I finished them all. There we are. There. That looks very nice, Nicholas. Thanks for adding that coat of arms on the back. Turned out really, really good. Ken Beard is here. Just in time, Ken. We're wrapping her up. I'm going to get you, Rashid. <laughs> And your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, my. Let's see. What do we got here that's appropriate? Anything? You missed it, Rashid. I did do it. What did I he did do? it for Casey. Oh. Okay. Oblivion, you got anything you want to add before we wrap it up? Yeah, I want to say thanks for the people who is working on my skin on the server where we are driving. Thank you for all the people who is watching the stream. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. We have a, a nice weekend. Be with your families. And stay safe. And I I see you soon on the road. All right. Well, thanks for being here, everyone. And thanks for the, I look like, I'm not sure if, if there was some sponsorships today or not. I thought, um, I thought there was one, but I don't see anything about it. So I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway. Or people who maybe like re-upped. Or did, or, or just, or just shouted out their, months whatever that is um so i don't know i i'm not used to seeing that those announcements and the ulysses as grand is here well you're here just in time say goodbye but let me just uh, remind everyone that at 6 p.m pacific 9 p.m eastern 3 a.m central european time we will have the next live stream with Lobo in Euro Truck Simulator also. Uh, and we'll, although he doesn't have a new truck skin, we had, he hasn't showed it off in a while, so you'll get a chance to see it if you haven't seen it before. And then we'll also have uh, the announcement for all the people that are in the going to be in the winner's convoy for the Euro Truck Truck Hunt that finishes in about an hour and a half so um and I, actually let me just take a peek real quick because i think yeah we've got seven people that all together that have found all nine trucks um but oblivion is one of them so he'll be in that winner's convoy if we can corral him it's a little tough because he's so far east, he's actually uh, one hour later than Central European time. So it can yep. be tough at times. So just heads up, the people that are going to be, you know, the first, second, and third is Mike B, FTG Mike B, Oblivion, and Bugwash. Oh, nice, Bugwash. So we'll have that. We'll schedule that convoy at some later date, and then we're gonna actually we've got some some monetary prizes to give away. That drawing will be later today. So um, currently we have, I think I already mentioned, we've got seven people that are in that drawing, unless anybody else completes the um, you know finding all the trucks. Let me see how many people we have. Um, 
We've only got one person. No one has eight. There's nine total. No one has eight. One person has seven. So, Phantom, if you can get two more, Dr. Jones and Thor, you'll be in the drawing. So, you have to drive. We have the chance. I found three guys in one, one delivery today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Trucker King did change the spawn rate. So, you got a better shot at getting in there. Um, all right. That's going to do it. Enough yammering for me. We'll see some of you back here in four and a half hours or so. Thanks for being here. We'll, we'll see you then.